Hey guys, um, this video will be a bit different from my usual videos. Um, this will be a more chemistry video. It will be um, a new series which I'll be doing on chemistry. Specifically, this one's on the reaction of um, sodium hydroxide, with which is also known as lye or caustic soda, with um, aluminium in the presence of water. And um, both, to go over what this reaction is, basically, it will generate... It's an exothermic reaction, which will generate quite a bit of heat. It will actually boil the water. And um, it will foam quite a bit. And as the sodium hydroxide decides to eat away the aluminium, it will create hydrogen gas. And these are the bits of shit that I have left over from um, the bottle bomb video. So if you watch the bottle bomb video, this is the reaction that's going on. And um, that's how the bottle bombs are so deadly. Because they're very hot. The drano gets sprayed everywhere. And um, it's quite there's quite a lot of gas being built up to say the least so to make this i will this is not a cap by the way i don't plan on turning this into a bottle bomb this is not enough aluminium anyways this is just to show what will happen aluminium goes in like that see and now with the sodium hydroxide it'll tip some inside of here don't want too much i probably won't even add all this in give it a little twist childproof safety cap as always put the caps on guys don't want you know kids getting into this because it will burn them obviously um then i'm quite a bit of video that's about all i'll put in and watch the reaction give it a little while and now, oh yeah i can smell the hydrogen gas now keep the sodium hydroxide away from that it's getting very very hot the reaction now give it quite a little bit of a stir to boost it enjoy the reaction my guys Also, flies are very interested in this mixture because it smells like hydrogen gas. Look at the bubbling reaction. That gas can be lit on fire and it's quite explosive, to be honest. You can see the fumes coming out. I'm going to back away a little bit because I'm not wearing a mask. Look at that. Back away, I'm going to sit down on the stairs and we can watch the reaction. Yeah. To say the least, this reaction is extremely violent, so it should not be done under any circumstances by untrained professionals or, you know, just generally DIYers, because this is... Yeah, look at it. It's melting the plastic. That's how bloody hot this thing gets. It is no fun, believe me. That reaction is extremely violent. The hydrogen gas is nasty shit. And, yeah, and before it tilts over, I'm gonna, afraid I'll have to end this reaction it's getting out of hand so um what i will do is i guess just i'm not gonna kick it or anything like that because that's gonna get it all spilled for me i'm gonna grab the stick so stick right um a second i'm going to grab two sticks i will attempt to actually i think one stick should be fine but um let's look at how badly mangled the bottle is this is hot Hot, it's boiling hot. Oh, oh. Don't breathe in the fumes, they are not good for you. And I will do is grab the bottle, put this in enough, tilt it up, and then yes, and then I'm gonna release this entire bottle inside of there. Let the water cool it down a little bit. And press this bottle so it gets into the water a little bit. There's a dead bird in there, by the way. This is horrible water, but um let the water hopefully will neutralize whatever sodium hydroxide's left. I've been dumping a lot of chemicals in this water, by the way, so they would need to do a complete revamp of this water. But give it a good stir. Scoop up the bottle because I don't want to have any plastic bottles inside of here. Dump out all this nasty reactant to the water. Now, the relatively dry bottle, I will leave it on the side here for me to deal with someday, but not right now. That's how you safely, you know, contain a reaction of sodium hydroxide, and that's how, that's a good demo, okay? So yeah, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.